everybody, it's Julie here, also known as Mrs England's Emporium. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. This is going to be a video, a basic video about the basic outline of eBay fees. So if you don't know anything about eBay fees, this is the video for you. Um, it's just going to basically outline the different types of business shops and business account fees you can get so if you're a private seller this won't be relevant to you but if you're a business seller or you're thinking of becoming a business seller or you're thinking of opening a shop stay tuned see you in a minute welcome um so yeah like subscribe hit the bell for more if you'd like to support my channel buy me a coffee is in the description and we'll get into it now so basically um someone asked me about ebay fees and they're thinking of opening a business account or a shop and wanted to know basically what this entails so this video is just going to basically give a brief outline of what i have taken off ebay so this is all ebay's words at, as it stands today um, and basically give you an outline of what you would pay for certain features and things using certain um shops or no shop at all and just a business account so i'm going to start with the no shop um option which basically would be you just opening a business account so when you have a private account you're basically selling your own stuff and you don't have a massive amount of listings it's just to get rid of a few things in your house here and there when you open a business account it leaves you open to selling a lot more and also going out there and purchasing things to sell on your shop to make a profit if you do this, you also need to bear in mind that you need to make sure you register with HMRC or whichever tax um, tax company there are in your country, um, you know, because you obviously have to pay your taxes. So that is something to bear in mind. So look into that also. Um, but this is basically just about the fees that eBay charge. So if you don't have a shop and you just have a business account, which like I say, if you have a private account, you can upgrade to a business account at any time just by talking to eBay or going onto your eBay account. There is a section where you can upgrade. So basically you'll be the same as a private account you'd be paying your fees as you sell so it wouldn't be like having a shop or anything you'd just be basically doing what you do with your private account and um, but a business account you are you normally don't get um free listings and things like that so you wouldn't have a monthly subscription fee to pay so basically there would be none of that you wouldn't um, have any free listings at all and you wouldn't have any free auctions. So any, any buy it nows that you put on listing wise would be 30 pence before you sell anything. Um, and also your additional auctions, any auctions that you put on would be 30p. So yeah, you'd be basically paying as you go. But if you open a basic shop, um, you get your business started with reduced fees and tools to help you grow. That is their words. So your monthly subscription value would be £90 on that. Um, so you would pay a monthly fee of £25. And for that, you get 250 free fixed price listings. So that's your buy it now listings. You get seven um, free seven day auctions. You get 50 so that's only the seven day auctions bearing in mind. If you wanted to do one that was five days or one day or whatever, you pay for those. Any additional fixed price listings are 10 pence and any additional auctions would be 15 pence. And they are just basically for listing. That isn't um, your final value fee or anything like that. That is basically just for listing. 
that is a whole other thing because that all depends on what you've sold and if you put any promoted listings on there um so it's all stuff like that if you want me to do a video on that as well i can so i can go further into it so let me know in the comments any questions at all or if you know anything that i have missed please put it in the comments as well this basically is information that i've got off ebay so i aren't making this up it's just i've basically written it down straight off the um ebay website so it's exactly what he said on there so the next type of shop you can get, which is the shop that I have, is a featured shop. So it says, take it to the next level with more free listings, eBay packaging, supplies, free international listings and more. I will point out with this shop that I haven't wrote down here that you do get a free £10 packaging voucher every month with this shop, which obviously is, it's not a lot, but it is a help. And you can get, I think, 50 of your normal size poly bags for that um i think you have to put 66p towards it or something so of course everything is just over a tenner or just under a tenner so you're either losing out or you're having to pay towards nothing is exactly 10 pounds so that's something to bear in mind but with the featured shop your monthly subscription value on the featured shop is 245 pound and your monthly shop price um, what you'd be paying for your shop is £69. And um, so with this, you get fixed free listings. You get 1,500 of those. That's your buy it nows. You get 300 free seven day auctions. Any additional fixed price listings are five pence, and any additional auctions are 15 pence. Um, I will add as well that the shop prices on this don't have VAT on them so they do add a little more I think it works out that the £69 shop I think we pay around £80 so yeah the other ones I'm not sure but they do put VAT on so that bear that in mind when I'm giving you these uh, prices and fees so the last shop you can get which is the biggest one it's called the anchor shop and they've put for this, expand your business with confidence with unlimited fixed price listings included and increased benefits across the board. Now, not sure what these benefits are, but I know that the monthly subscription value of this shop is £1,275. And the monthly price of the shop that you pay is £399. So it's quite a big jump. Um, the reason for the big jump mainly from what I can see is the fact that you've got unlimited fixed price listings so you can list as much stuff as you want there is no limit and um, you get 500 free seven day auctions and additional fixed price listings are free obviously because it's unlimited and additional auctions again are 15 pence Again, bearing in mind that if you do any auctions that aren't seven days, so any other amount of time, one day, two days, five days, whatever it is you can do, you will have to pay for those two. I hope I have explained this well enough. Um, I don't know much about the Anchor Shop because I've never had that shop. I've had the Featured and the Basic and I've had the Business Account. And I can say that as far as value for money goes for me right now, but bearing in mind my shop has nearly 800 items in it, the featured shop is the best one for value for money. To get a featured shop, I think you need to, I think we talked about this on a video recently, that we need to be getting at least 600 listings. You need to have at least 600 listings to make a featured shop be um, of value to you, otherwise it's the basic. Um, but I think for the anchor shop, you need to be in your tens of thousands of listings, I think, to make that work. I'm not sure the, um, I think, I can't remember how many it is. I think for, for it to be feasible, it has to be a lot, bearing in mind you're spending at least £399 on your monthly subscription. And that's before that, or VAT however you want to say it so yeah obviously this is for the uk as well i should point out um so the pricing 
in US dollars or euros or wherever it is that you are, you would need to check this on your eBay account. So to do that, I can recommend that you go onto your eBay, go into the help section and put at the top fees. Click on that and there will be everything explained for you. So if there is anything um, that you don't understand with this, let me know in the comments. Or, of course, you can chat to eBay um, about this and see what they say. They are the ones that are the uh, experts on this, obviously. <laughs> Not me. But, yeah, um, it's quite something having it all laid out there, isn't it? I mean, things are much easier now. Back before they had the switch over to doing the um, the multiple payment methods, when it was PayPal, you had your PayPal fee on top. So now they charge a fee and it's smaller. So we aren't getting charged as much. But yeah, I mean, you've got to speculate to accumulate. This is the thing with business, isn't it? So you've just got to work out basically whether it's worth you doing it. I think for you to open a business account, I think the first thing that needs to be done is you need to get your stock in and then you need to evaluate where you're going to be in, say, a month's time to work out what is the best for you to do within these, whether you're going to need to just have a business account for now or whether you're going to go up to a basic or up to a featured. Personally, I started out with my private shop, which when I decided I was going to go into reselling, I upgraded to a business account. I think when I, how many listings is here? When I got up to about 200 listings, I went to my basic shop straight away. Um, started doing that, but I was listing every single day. I was buying a lot of stuff. I was getting my shop up to scratch. And then when I got up to about 600 listings, I went to my featured. Um, during COVID, I did take it back down to a basic. So I took a lot of stuff off because I wasn't selling much. And obviously the fees are killer when you're not selling a lot. Um, but I have recently, over the last few months, gone back up to a featured and it's been amazing. Um, yeah, so it all depends on how quickly you want your business to grow and how quickly you're willing to work to get it to where it needs to be. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has helped. Let me know in the comments any questions, anything that you think may be helpful to others. Stick it in the comments. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for more. As I say, my Buy Me A Coffee link is in my description if you'd like to support my channel. I will give everyone a shout out that does. Speak to you all soon, guys. Have a wonderful day. Ta-ta!